So in this video I'm going to show you a UA Arrow running bus powered on a M1 MacBook Air. Basically all I did was follow the guide here it was linked to on the UAD forums. It's not officially supported yet but the driver works and the software works but it might come with bugs with the various plugins. So there are a few plugins they said might have issues. So yeah, you need to put it into recovery mode. I'll leave a link to this in the description just in case anybody wants to do it. It's a little bit convoluted and complicated, but it does work. But at the minute, it's working better than it did on the Intel-based Macs, for me anyway. So you have to put it into recovery mode. You have to alter the security policy. You have to put it into reduced security and allow users to manage kernel extensions. So basically, Apple are deprecating text files which a lot of people probably don't like that but it's not bad if it means that everything's a lot more stable and more secure there's less crashes which ultimately I think is their goal though they probably want more control over things as well which is a double-edged sword but anyway so a couple of plugins that don't work or can cause the system to crash I'm using QPS in Studio One I don't have any of these ones that are affected. I'm not using Firewire, so I'm not using Luna either. A couple of people have asked me to test out Luna, but I don't use Luna and I'm not going to go through the headache, unfortunately, so sorry. So yeah. Here's console running. And you can see that I have an arrow connected. 48 kilohertz. Input delay compensation is off. I have a couple of plugins that I'm actually monitoring through at the minute. So I've got the 175B, done a bit of compression, nothing crazy. And then I also have the legacy version of the 88RS, which I'm using for just the gate. Because while this MacBook is completely silent, the computer that I'm running in the background while it's relatively quiet, suddenly starts to sound really loud compared to this. So yeah, this is all working fine. Compression's all working fine. Meters are all working fine. No graphical glitches or anything like that. So let's try Studio One. So I'll put it on Universal Audio. If we take it down to 16 samples, there we've got a round trip latency of just over 3.23 milliseconds, which is like, that's kind of crazy. So I'm going to mute this track and then I'm going to enable it in Studio One and then monitor through it. One, two, one, two. Got very low CPU usage. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, 
One, two. So I'm just going to do a quick recording here. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. A quick recording here. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, so very low latency. Everything seems to be running okay. I can check another couple of plugins that I own here. Um, Auto tune came free with my Apollo. I've never really used it much. I've always found it to be a bit buggy and unreliable, to be honest. And it's a very obvious effect, but it is working, so that's all right. I'm interested to see if I can do a project and really stretch the arrow processing, see how far it'll go. Just using legacy effects. I like the Poltec legacy. Legacy 1176s and LA2A. Well, so far so good. Everything seems to be working really well. I'll have to get a proper test in and uh, import a project and see how it runs. I'll leave a link in the description to the guide. Hopefully somebody found this uh, useful. Cheers.